Summer for Yanka Bananleki for Brecky, the Gold Coast number one hit music station, 90.9 CFM. CFM News Briefing. The centre of the sporting universe today is Brisbane with sold out AFL and NRL prelim finals at the Gabba and Suncorp. First up is the Lions about to take on Carlton before the Broncos tackle the Warriors. And local Tim is one of the lucky few who scored tickets to both games. It should be a cracking night. I mean, Brisbane's been turning it on all year, so in the words of Ryan HG, when too much sport is barely enough, we're pretty spoiled. There's a whopping 96% hotel occupancy rate in Brisbane, with today's footy festivals tipped to inject $10 million into Queensland's economy. Hundreds of people attended unofficial no-vote rallies across the country today, ahead of next month's voice referendum. But the rallies weren't organised or endorsed by the official no campaign. A teenager has died after being stabbed in Melbourne's west last night. It's understood two groups of people were involved in a fight with an 18-year-old man dying at the scene. Video games which simulate gambling will be restricted to older teenagers and adults. There will be new mandatory classifications for these games from late next year in a bid to minimise gambling-related harm. Also making news, a Western Australian police officer has arrived home after being critically injured in a 10-metre fall while holidaying in Croatia. More than 200 kilos of cocaine has been found in the hull of a cargo ship in Melbourne. Federal police appealing for info. And it's been revealed a highly contagious strain of gastro is the reason why 100 people fell ill after attending a popular Melbourne venue last week. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. Penrith are into their fourth straight NRL grand final after their big win over the Storm last night. The 38 to 4 scoreline was the biggest victory by a team in a prelim in the NRL era. The Panthers' Ivan Cleary reckons margins didn't come into it. I didn't, I didn't even feel like I was that big in the second half until I looked at the scoreboard, so, which is nice. And Penrith's opponent will be either the Broncos or the Warriors. They face off in the second prelim tonight. And in the AFL, Collingwood's into the grand final. They'll play the winner of the second prelim today, the Lions and Carlton at the Gabba. <laughs> A couple of showers and down to 15 tonight, then cloudy and 24 tomorrow and 24 and some patchy cloud around for Monday. It's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener, download the app now and listen for free.